Hey everybody, George Panzita from the Great Northeast, and I got a DJ tip for you when you're doing cocktail music unattended in a remote location. Powered speaker, we, uh, we particularly use this one on the floor so that people don't hear you know, the sound. They can talk, walk around, have their cocktails, and have a good chat with each other. They don't need a lot of particular sound. On the ground is perfect for that particular application. So you may have to bring a stand for this, and also when you do bring it, it doubles as um, backup equipment. So you got a plus going on there. We're using the iPod Nano, the new one. Very simple uh, to um, set up. And the reason why we're using this over the old school one is because this cross fades. All you got to do is go into the settings, music, and then you check off, uncheck, shake to, to um, shuffle or any of the other stuff and just turn on audio crossfade. It's a great feature for this particular thing and it's got a smooth transition. All right. You make a playlist. Here we used a couple. I have a cocktail hour one. I have a dance one as a backup in case something happens to the dance selections that you've made for the evening. So you have your playlist. You can use that as a backup when maybe your primary system went down or there's a problem, uh, you know, a uh, fuse, anything, you know, you got backup because you got you don't want no dead air space. This will make it quick, clean, and easy. Plug in the iPod, plug in the speaker, boom, you're back in business as long as you have a little bit of power. All right, so here we go. We got a playlist. All right, dinner music. All right. You select your song, make sure your volume's all the way up. You can use your equalizer. This particular song is great for intros. You take uh, the first 32 um, bars of this and you can just loop that. That's a fantastic intro. But nonetheless, so you got your iPod playing, you got your playlist going. The crossfade transition is the last thing I want to talk to you about. And in order to facilitate that, even on a nano, you can just touch the screen. You see the time limit there. So you know how much time is left of a song if you want to end that session or whatever, you know, unabruptly. Or you can just fade out, right? All right, cocktail hour's over. All right, you can fade to, you know, or, you know, you can wait for the end of the song by the timer on here. So you know, actually know what time it is. You know, in the song. Touch the screen, it's on there. Alright, let's speed it up a little bit. I know this song drops off about 20 seconds or 15 seconds before the end. Let's hear the cross fade. I'm cranking it up even though it's dropping off for you. So it's going to cross fade. Even though there's 10 dare, dead air seconds on here, when it finally goes, here you go. All right, so it's cross-fading in. That's a fantastic feature, all right? This is it. You don't need a beat mix or none of that. You just need to cross-fade in and out, like typical old-school DJs. For cocktail hour, uh, for dinner music, there's nothing wrong with today's technology. You're not cheating anybody. You did your homework. You can put a fantastic selection together, and I highly recommend it. Thanks, and take care.